I'd now like to talk to you about how to add a point of interest to the map. So we can see here we've already got a food one and a water one point of interest. So to add a point of interest, you need to click on this point of interest button. Uh, if you hover over it, uh, as with a lot of buttons, you get these uh, tool tips. So you can see that's the points of interest. And if you just click on it, you can also see that this relates to points of interest. If you want more information, you can click on this eye and you can get a bit more data. But I'll um, talk you through how to do most of that now anyway. So to add a point of interest, you click on this add button. To rename it, you need to click on this text. So let's just call it new point 444. <clears throat> to actually add it onto the map, you click on this edit button and then click on the pencil icon over here and then you can place it wherever you like. And you can zoom out and zoom in over here and place it there if you want to. So you've, you can place it quite accurately. Uh, you can even switch to the satellite view if that helps you place it exactly where you want to place it. So let's um, place it here for now. You can also delete it. Now deleting the point here makes it disappear from the map, but it doesn't remove it from here. Um, so we can easily just put it back on. But if we actually click on this delete option over here, then it completely removes the, the entry. So let's uh, add another one back in. Let's place it on the actual map. And now you can um, you can select these check boxes to see which ones you want to have to be visible and which ones not to be visible. And um, the other interesting thing with this is that not only can these points be used to you know, identify points of interest on the map, but they can also be used to help with navigation. So this new point 466 appears in this drop down uh, option. So if we click on new point 466, it'll zoom to that point. So if I zoom to all tags, then we can see all the tags uh, split across two states. But then if I go back in to 466, then we can go straight to that area there. <coughs> so uh, not only does it help, with identifying points of interest, but it also helps with navigation. Also, don't forget to save the changes, otherwise when you refresh the page, they'll be lost. And this is the same uh, conditions as when saving master data. So unlisted means anyone can view the link, so you need to be careful with that. Creator is the most secure one, so uh, only the creator, in this case Dr. Dave, can view it when they're logged in. Uh, custom means you can actually select individuals that you want to be able to view the page. Um, and also you can't share this link with just anyone. It can only be used for internal purposes or shared with emergency services. You can't share it with third parties such as financial institutions or banks or insurance companies without approval from Sarah's tag. And this is a condition that's imposed by Sarah's tag, uh, not Mappypedia. So all the software providers will have this condition. And click save. And now if we uh, zoom into 466, um, uh, it's, it's still there. Notice how this was the option that was selected when we actually saved it. So that meant as soon as the page opened up, it zoomed back into that point. 